There's Moose packing up his tent. <laughs> uh, this is what we had to wake up to. Oh, it was beautiful. Cold, oh, it's miserably cold. But it is gorgeous out here. Oof. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Moose is packed up. I'm rolling. I'm following him. We got Miller Peak in our future. Uh, the world is our oyster. And we get we get freeze-dried food and nor pesticides. Woo! None like oysters and pesticides. Anyway, I'm out of breath already. I gotta go. Alright, so see that right over there? That's the parking lot. That little saddle right there is where we slept last night. There's a moose loose in Arizona. And uh, this is probably going to be the last time we get to see that for quite some time. Uh, but yeah, this is what we woke up to this morning. It's not too rough. Uh, the trail is nice. The trail's actually really nice. It's no, uh, it's no AT rough, you know. There's Moose showing his agility. So, yeah, another beautiful morning. Okay, you can see him. There's Moose. He's got to come all the way up here. But for right now, he's down there, hiking along, enjoying life. And that's behind him. He can't see that yet. The trail's a little rugged. I say rugged, it just has rocks in it. It's really nice though. It, uh, it's seeing an increase in people who are wanting that solitude and they go to the AT and the AT isn't like it, is, it was 10 years ago, you know, it's starting to get a little more crowded. So people are starting to move, move around in the woods out here. I say woods, I mean, you know, scrub brush. Anyway, yeah, we're, uh, we're headed to Miller Peak, a uh, circuitous route. And uh, we're, uh, you know, enjoying the hike. I moved up a little quicker just so I could get this shot of him. Ah. Ca -ca! I could get a shot of him hiking and breaking and hiking and breaking. The air is not the way it is in Maine or San Antonio. It's dry. I say it is dry up here. We're at like five, 6,000 feet. We gotta get up to nine for Miller Peak. I know I'm gonna go up Miller Peak. I just haven't kind of set my sights on it yet. It's uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a long way to go for some reason or another. Anyway, he's still trucking, which is a good thing. And uh, it was cold this morning, really cold. Sleeping pad has a slow leak in it, so I guess when we get to somewhere, we'll try and patch it. We haven't super glued the shoes yet, but um, I'm sure that first break with coffee will be, second coffee is going to be good for everybody involved. Um, and, uh, and you just can't get over the views, the views and the colors. It doesn't translate to film, you know, you just see brown and grays and we're seeing reds and yellows and purples. You know, the sun set yesterday, the sunrise today. It was just amazing. And it doesn't translate to film at all in any way, shape, or form. So, we were, so we, uh, we got the joy of hiking with, with Sean a little bit. And that was really, really good. Uh, and I noticed that the trail is shorter on one side. So your mountain side, your trekking pole is way up by your waist, uh, you know, higher than your waist. And when, uh, uh, when you, uh, uh, 
you know, you're, you're so, and then it switches sides. So if the mountain is not on your left, you know, you're, uh, you're stuck with one short pole. So I haven't figured out how to even that out. Maybe we need automatic poles. Um, but here he comes, trekking along like a champ. He's an animal. He's not beast who would probably be in Patagonia right now. Sipping on oat soda and well, that's not true. He's not awake yet if he's if he's the beast that I know. Beast doesn't wake up until ten. And and then he'd be well if he woke up at ten, he'd be catching us in about a half an hour or an hour. I guess it's like nine o'clock in the morning. Um, we took our time packing up this morning. You know, it's the first day, you're trying to dial everything in. I've got a new pack, he's got new tents, new sleeping pads and stuff. So, and in my sleeping bag is small. It's a sleeping bag, it's not a sleeping quilt. So, I gotta get used to being confined in something as opposed to what I was used to. The, uh, the grandeur of my, my old enlightened equipment has since been replaced with something a little smaller and a little lighter. And uh, I think I might go back to the carrying the extra size and the few ounces that it takes to get to be uh, an enlightened equipment pack. I've been waiting for him to pop around the corner, but he's not popping. Uh. We can just hear the cars coming up the gravel, coming up to the uh, memorial. There he is. Tragedian Stabinets, nice shaded flat spot. It's shaded, flat. I need the sun right now, man. It's negative 32 degrees. It's a little bit chilly. Oh man, it was nice over there. Little gully where if it had rained, there would be rain. Yeah. Uh, that worked out well for everybody. Why do I feel like the fat kid? Every time I catch up to you, you take off on me. Okay, see you, bye. <laughs> uh, check it out. There's, well, there's Moose's butt. But, but look at that. Little cave inside. You see the eyeballs peering out. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we're walking along, and you know, this is where we are. We're standing in front of this. That's where we were. You can see the parking lot. You can see the parking lot. Yeah, it's right here. Oh yeah, that look, there's the parking. Still there. Yeah, the camper's still there. Nobody's in the parking lot. No. Yeah. So it's uh warming up. Woo, baby. We came to the first water source. Not looking too good. <laughs> yep. There's the border patrol. Oh, we got border patrol finally? All right. He's fucking hiding in that corner. He's back, he just backed up into it. Oh, oh okay. Nice, there he is down there. Whew. We're up high. We can, <laughs> we can see, uh, we can still see the parking lot. So we haven't gotten that far. We've only hiked probably maybe a quarter mile. <laughs> we found our first water. Here it is. Looks delicious. Uh, and a little cave back there. Yeah. Let's go see what kind of action we get back here. Ooh. Yeah. I don't need to go any further. About all I need. <laughs> Woo. There it is. My foot and that snow. And we look out, and there's snow down there, and snow down there, and it's cold. You hear the wind blowing. There's Sierra Vista, and there's a mountain. Hopefully it's Mount Miller. So, woo! The highest mountain in the southern uh, South Arizona. Oh my God, look, this is miserable. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Gotta run. We just
just passed over this saddle right here. We were on the other side this whole time of that. Look at all that snow. Oh, I'm so glad we weren't there. That's Mexico. Mexico. And we still haven't made it to Mother's Peak, but that's up ahead. Ooh, it's windy and chilly. Okay, so we walked that whole ridge line right here, all the way around, around all of that, around on the outside of that, around over there, and then right here, we started doing a bunch of switchbacks. It was awesome. But we're headed to Miller Peak, which, who knows? I mean, there's the canyon, and it could be up there. It could be on the other side of that. It could be near that thing. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. There's the trail. This is snow, lots of snow. There's a moose in snow, lots of snow, but we're going downhill, woo! It's lunchtime. It's actually one o'clock. I got lunch right here. Yeah, and then the trail keeps on going, but it's all snow. Hikers that the four pack that are in front of us, they're uh, well, there's in front of us. There's Sierra Vista, woo baby. And this is where lunch is. Okay, so there was the trail, and you pop up, there's a big old sign, there's moose, and there's the bathtub. We're gonna be drinking tub water. Oh, yeah, <laughs> doesn't that look good? Oh, I cannot wait, I can't wait. Snow all around, it's cold. I'm cold, there's cold, and there's cold water. Okay, you're not gonna believe what happened. It got so windy that I had to put on uh, a jacket, rain jacket, to protect myself from the wind. It's so cold, it's miserable. It is just downright miserable. Moose is laughing because he thinks it's warm and sunny. And look, he's wearing just a shirt, a light shirt. Anyway, so we get a little off on our directions. And when I say a little, I mean a lot. A lot. So we're hiking down this dirt road, three and a half miles, to meet a uh, buddy. Real lot of wind, a lot of wind. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll pick this up when we get down there, all right? Okay, so the last you heard, we were on a dirt road and we got waylaid and there's Moose. <laughs> and there's Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff is awesome. He said, he sent me a text uh, and he said, hey, let's, uh, I got a couple beers. And I was like, all right. And then of course we get lost. Uh, cause that's what we do. We're pretty good at that. And then, uh, the next thing I know, um, Jeff, can you come get us? Please? And he drives up this dirt road. Oh my God. We almost died on this dirt road. Um, but we walked, we walked five miles down the dirt road. My shins are killing me. I might die tomorrow. And, um, and then Jeff's going to pick us up. Uh, he's taking us to a hotel and then he's going to pick us up and take us to Parker Canyon. We're gonna do Park Canyon on. So, what's the what stretch is that? That's number two, Passage Two. We'll be in Passage Two tomorrow. So anyway, um, that's the that's the suffering we had, uh, along with beer and um, chips and, or sorry, tacos and hot dogs. Yeah, baby.